Howdy YouTube, this is Steven, and I'm back with another photo analysis. This time I'll be analyzing the cover of Nami Tamaki's single, Everlasting Love. Okay, so when I first take a look at this photo, I notice that, you know, the background is really red. Um, I notice Nami Tamaki's face. And, um, hey, I noticed that she is sitting down. Um, so let me start with Nami Tamaki's face. For me, her face is not doing it for me as far as, like, um, selling the photo. I don't know. I don't like the way that her face looks in this photo. Her face has looked better in other photos. Um... I'm not quite sure the message that she's trying to portray with that facial expression. And really, I don't even think it's totally the facial expression. I think it's more like the way that maybe the light is hitting her face or the way that she positioned her face. It doesn't seem to photograph very well from that angle, in my opinion. Like she looks much older than what she actually is. In this photo, she could probably pass as a middle-aged woman. But the thing is, Nami Tamaki's not middle-aged. <laughs> That's the thing. <clears throat> and her hair is okay. Her hair could have been better. Um, but, you know, if the facial expression was on point, or the face was on point, then I could, you know, the hair wouldn't be a big issue. Like the hair, like eh, whatever, right? <clears throat> um, also, the outfit that she's wearing, I don't think is very flattering for her figure. Um, I don't know. It looks like she's wearing like a robe instead of a dress. And I don't like the shoes that she's wearing. I don't like that she chose to wear black socks with those shoes. Um, let's see. You know, I like. The, I think the props are interesting. I don't. I'm not quite sure the message that she's trying to portray with the props exactly, or the message that her team is trying to portray with the props exactly. But um, yeah, the hourglass, the cross, the books. I wonder what message, because the theme of this cover is everlasting love. But the thing is, the hourglass would, to me, symbolize that the love has a time limit. But then again, the cross would symbolize that the love is everlasting. And then the books are just random, you know. They look nice. I guess that's why they... <laughs> you know, we're putting a photo, like, hey, Nami Tamaki, she reads books. <laughs> um, let's see, the background, it's a deep, dark red. And I know that red symbolizes passion and love. But I feel like this background might be a little bit too dark red. I think they should have lightened the color up a little bit more to make it a bit more lively. Um, I don't know. It just doesn't add anything positive to the ambiance of the photo. Um, I think the chair and the table that they have in the photo are very nice. They look like very, you know, Victorian style. <clears throat> and I like the typography. You know, look at the way that Nami Tamaki's name, you know, the typography there, the font, you know, I like that. It looks very, you know, classy and elegant and, you know, very official, you know, it's like something that you, the type of font you would find on like a graduation, um, like a diploma or a degree of some sort. <clears throat> and... Let's see. I like the borders, you know, the well, the designs in the corners of the photo. 
But, hmm, I think that if you took those away, I think the photo might fare a little better, in my opinion. I think the photo might be a little better, but I do like it. I think that's a nice touch, though. So I'm a bit torn because one on one hand, I do like that touch on it. But on the other hand, I think that, you know, sometimes less is more. And I think that had they had removed the photos, then, you know, it would have made the deep red not seem so, I guess, like distracting or bad for the ambiance, if you get what I'm saying. Like it would have helped the deep red a bit more, you know, to have something or to add something more positive to this photo. Um, but, um, you know, I think she has a nice, well, her body positioning is a bit odd. I do like the way that she positioned her hand that's by her face. You know, her arm and her hand that's by her face. But her body positioning does look a bit odd to me. Like, I'm not... She's, I think she's trying to go for like a model type of look. You know, kind of like, okay, the model pose and it has some dynamic with it. So it's like, okay, you look here, her body's disposition, then here's disposition. So it's like left, right. You're like your eyes are going all over her trying to, you know, see her body positioning. But I don't think. I don't know. Something about the positioning is not doing it for me. In my, you know, my opinion, I don't think that her pose or her body positioning is doing it, or is the best that she could have done. I think it could have been much better. But to be fair, I think that part of the problem is the wardrobe that she's wearing, and also the shoes that she's wearing. I guess they make her look a bit short. And I know Nami Tamaki isn't the tallest person, but, you know, sometimes you can position your body in certain ways to make it look taller and longer than what it actually is. And unfortunately, Nami Tamaki didn't do that. So here, it kind of it kind of looks like she has a, a, a long torso, but, a sh but short legs. You know, a little odd. You know, but overall, this photo, in my opinion, is subpar. I'm not, I don't think, like, there's a lot of issues that I have with this photo. And I guess the ultimate issue is that, you know, Nami Tamaki's body positioning, it doesn't photograph well, as well as her face. I think, like, if she had just had, if she just bought a nice Youthful, a youthful face and decent body positioning, this photo would have been much better. You know, it looks like she's wearing some type of like um like a lab coat or something. I don't know, like what's up with that? What's up with that outfit, y'all? And the shoes ain't helping either. Like I think the shoes kind of help like they help make her look shorter. You know, I don't think that's really anything to help on. Um, but yeah, um, I do like the props in the photo, and I like the typography in the photo, but you know, I don't see the theme of everlasting love really portrayed much, but that's okay, you know, if you deliver a good photo, then, you know, the theme, like, if you deliver a good photo, then I think like me personally, I would let you slide with interpreting the theme as long as it's, it is at least a good photo. But the thing is, she didn't interpret the theme very well, and the photo's not like the photo itself is subpar. You know, when the best things in the photo are the props and the typography, you know, you got some issues there. You got some issues. You know, and ultimately, I mean, Tamaki has delivered better. She's done better. Um, but um, there's one more photo that I want to show you guys, and it and this photo is it's like a miscellaneous promotional photo. 
Um, I'm not quite sure what she's wearing. Um, I'm not quite sure the message that she's trying to portray with her body language. Um, it looks like she's but like in front of a door or behind a door. One of the two. It kind of looks like she could be in one of those like um, phone booths that you find in um, like Great Britain or you know the United Kingdom. One of those type of phone booths. But I think she's behind a door. <clears throat> And her body positioning looks a bit odd. Um, she kind of lost her neck a little bit. Uh, her hair looks decent, but her face is kind of photographing like a middle-aged woman, you know? Like right here, like nothing is wrong with the face except like she's not a middle-aged woman, you know? I know a lot of middle-aged women would like to have this face when they're middle-aged, you know? They would like to have this space. Like, this would be pretty good for a middle-aged woman. But the thing is, Nami Tamaki is not a middle-aged woman. She's, you know, at this point, I think she's like like 26 or 27 years old. I think she's 27 years old. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, she's not middle-aged yet. But, I don't know. I guess maybe the wardrobe that she's wearing makes her look a bit more mature, more mature than she actually is. Maybe the way that the light is hitting her face. Maybe the makeup she's wearing. Maybe the hairstyle. I don't know. Yeah. But this photo, yeah, it's not working. Um, but the thing is, like, it's a miscellaneous promotional photo. So, you know, this wasn't, you know, this is just a photo that was um, on the internet associated with the single Everlasting Love, you know. <clears throat> I think that the strongest photo is the single cover photo. And for me, I think it's just because her her body positioning is better than the miscellaneous promotional photo. And also the props. Um, but, you know, overall, I think it's definitely like the lesser of two evils type of situation where it's like both photos aren't exactly the best thing ever so this is just the best thing of a bad situation so there you have it you know feel free to comment feel free to subscribe feel free to give me a thumbs up your feedback and support are extremely appreciated and extremely valued into the next photo analysis adios and goodbye for now